Hello guys, welcome to this channel again and we thank you for your support that you always give, give us on this channel. Today we want to uh, come out with issues on about special service unit on this new government that is of William Samoy Ruto and we are going to get, get out with some questions that most of us, we Kenyans, we need to discuss over it. Here is my friend here and my brother here, we, whom we are going to discuss with about why William Ruto, we, we listened to him the other day at Kirinyaga, came out clearly on this issue about special service unit, which most of Kenyans are in dilemma over it. Now, we are going to find out the reason why he decided to ban it and the reason why they, 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 they decided not to talk more about, about this issue. My colleague here, can you clarify over this? What, 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 what came out and what, what are the reasons why William Ruto decided not to, to, disband, not to talk about this special service unit? And I think, according to me, this is the most sensitive part in this country. Can you tell us more about this, actually? Yes, one thing that you must understand is that uh, William Samruto was the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya starting 2013 and to 2022 when we went for a general election. The truth that is coming out with at this moment, I always tell people that as you see a senior politician who was elected as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, and currently is now the president of the Republic of Kenya, when he talks about the special service unit, he understands very well the meaning and the reason and the operation of that unit. I remember during 2007 to 2013, there were certain squad that are also the same as this special service unit that was also created with a certain agenda of uh, uh, looking forward to have this secret uh, investigation towards uh, the units that was uh, attached to police. But now when it reached 2018, there was now an uh, improvement of certain uh, service unit that was now renamed to be Special Service Unit. When you see William Samruto coming up with ideas that this a, a squad they have been uh, attached with a extrajudicial killing towards uh, innocent Kenyans and you could find that uh, there are many Kenyans that have been found um, dying on a cold blood some of them you see different families a bigger percentage of families that their, their colleagues their close uh, friends and uh, their close families have been found dead in fact William Ruto came out very clear, and this is something that Kenyans are asking themselves. It is, is there any truth behind this special service unit? Because you see news are across the Republic of Kenya, people who have been, who have been killed and found in Yala River. Some have been found killed and dumped uh, in the forests and those kind of things. You could find those three guys, two, three uh, youths that was all, were all, also killed. This is a, a story that William Samoruto has started coming up with so that he can tell us the truth. Because the other day, the other day you can see people like Musando, they were killed. People like uh, Jacob Jume, they were killed. The president came out very clear by then, that is Uhuru Kenyatta, that investigation was to come out, uh, the, the investigation was to be done to tell us who were behind the killing of these uh, the duos. But not really today we are not being told what happened and who are these people. But in real sense, and the reality is coming out after William Samuto has come out to explain for us the reality and the function and the operation of this special service unit. So something that is bringing a lot of conversation across the Republic of Kenya is that is there any secret that William Samuto understands very well in terms of those who were being killed 
and who are these people that always perform this kind of duties yeah i think i think uh, to addition on that uh, when when you view what Moses Kuri also said the other day or the last year his speech he, he came out clearly and said for instance as you have mentioned on christmas sandos death uh, Moses Kuri has said to the social media that he knows those who killed this 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 young gentleman you know these people these and in fact and in fact one thing yes. that you must understand Moses Kuria was the first person to post the, yeah, the, actually, picture, the picture of, of, Chris, uh, of the car with Chris Musa yeah, so people Chris. were asking and by that time yes. Chris Musa uh, Moses Kuria was the part of the government exactly so that is the reality yeah. it means that William Samuta and his brigades they and do understand they do understand and that's why they they, they they are making Kenyans to be in dilemma actually this this, this is the most critical situation where we should come out clear most Kenyans in fact senior politician leaders as you've said come out clear and tell us what are they, what are they doing behind over this because for instance that Moses uh, Chris Sandoz death he was killed in cold blood actually very sad when you took a look at Jacob Juma and also as my colleague here in Yala, so many people have been murdered. No one is bothering to take care of them. No one is even listening to them. They are being buried. And Kenyan's life is continuous. And remember, and remember that special service unit is yeah. not only for Nairobi County. Yeah, exactly. It is across the Republic across of Kenya. The Republic everywhere. Of Kenya. Everywhere. So that is the reality. So what we want to know is that who are these people that are, in fact, we want them to come out to yeah. tell us yes. These are the people that has been doing this. So yes. William Ruto cannot come and tell us that the police, in fact, he, he pointed, yeah, he out, pointed very, out very clear that police are the people that uh, had been doing this extrajudicial killing. Yes. And some, to, till date, they have not received any updates towards the killing of their, co of their colleagues. Yes. yes. And, and, and now, imagine if this shall continue this way, then we take this picture, how our young generation or we young generation will, will live in the next 10 years coming, in the next 20 years coming. Then, then we shall say that our country will be, will be dismantled in leadership actually. And it's, it's very unfortunate, so sad actually indeed, that, that uh, these people are in government. So what we are looking forward is that uh, yes. they have they have removed this so-called special service, service unit. unit. So we are waiting if there is there is a, there is going to be a continuity uh, killings across the Republic of Kenya, yeah. and that is what we are waiting. If any case there will be no cases, yes. then it means there is a confirmation that these people are killing Kenyans. Kenyans. Yeah. Yeah. I, in fact, that that will be the best answer, and we are watching and seeing. If, the, if 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 this will 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 make any changes, and we shall come out with more more, more clarification over this, mm -hmm. yes, I think I think I think that is the, in fact this is the best the, the best topic to discuss over yeah yeah mm -hmm. I think it is the best one actually yeah. to find out why this special unit mm -hmm. they are so bitter over over this yeah yeah, yeah. otherwise. Thank you so much because of the, the, the time that you've given us. Bye bye till we meet on another video. Yes, welcome as you subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for your support. Have a nice day.